I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. that quickly he's knocked out of bounds around the 24 yard line a heck of a play by the receiver we talk all the time about the emotions of college football this play was definitely an emotionally charged play what a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete From the 24-yard line, second down. Fires it out. Tackle made right around the 14-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. And he's level at the one. Touchdown, OU! And he tacks on the extra point. So a seven-play, 76-yard drive. And the result, seven points. The score now, 7-0. Oklahoma is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Longhorns offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I've really recognized is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Throws in a hurry. Found his man. To the 20. To the 10. And he will score. Will be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. A quick two-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling. And he's taken down around the 23-yard line. Quick 
snap to his receiver. To the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Oklahoma! And he adds the extra point. So a short three-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown. I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out on the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Pitches it. He's got the corner. And they get nice yardage on that run. Here he goes. Fumble, loose ball, and the defense is on it. You love to see your playmakers on defense coming through and creating some breaks, which is exactly what the safety did. Offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Oklahoma up seven points. Completely stopped immediately. He passes it. Great catch there before they can knock him out of bounds. The defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. From the nine-yard line, second down. And he's tackled around the three-yard line. Sooners. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries before this one's over. He's really helped carry the offense so far today. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That makes it second and six. He 
he's pushed out of bounds around the 49-yard line. That's a few six on the play. First down. They'll bring him down around the 50-yard line. Gain of one on the play. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That brings let's go. up second and nine. Big hit there to stop it. Looks middle, got his back. Brought down at the 48 yard line. Brown is back awaiting the punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Sooners are looking like they're unstoppable right now. They've just exploded in this game. I don't know if the defense can adjust or not. Well, they have big playability all over the field, and this defense has got to make some adjustments to do a better job of trying to slow them down. I would recommend trying to put some more pressure on this quarterback by loading the line of scrimmage. He airs it out. And he's got it for the 20. And down he goes at the 13-yard line. A long way yet to go, but at the end of one, the Sooners lead it by two touchdowns. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. it finds his receiver touchdown <laughs> and he converts the extra point They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Stopped in his tracks with that tackle. That's a team of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Let's go! Quick, quick, quick. Slings it. He's taken down at the 31. That's a team of five on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Quick throw, knocked out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41. That's four yards on the play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. Fields on the tackle at the 46-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Up the middle for a nice game. First and ten. Ball on the 50. Ready. 
and he tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. I think a corner loves to have a chance to come up and make a play in the run game. So often they get labeled as just great athletes, and they just want to be involved in the passing game and being able to defend a receiver. Here, you see an attitude from this corner as he comes up, reads the play, and makes the play in the backfield. That makes it 30 and 15. This is the ninth play of this drive. He might not be able to get the pass off. Sheds that one. The offense falls on him. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. And they're coming after this punter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Brown fields it at the 18. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. That's a great tackle at the 33-yard line. the stop at the 35. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Jamison awaiting the return. down at the 33. The Longhorns, quarterback Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on the team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. Yeah, it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball, but uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, when you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. Ready! Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle at the 47. That makes it first and 10. And he just gets rid of it. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they push him out around the 39-yard line. at the 30, gets out to around the 25. Game 14 yards. First down. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. Tackle made at about the 13. Texas will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the 13-yard line, first down. Throws complete, he's got space to work, and he's level at the eight. That brings him second and five. Here we go! 
He's on the run. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he is drilled at the four. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. Tackle made at the 24. Oklahoma's done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, partner. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense that they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So it's still a lot of football to be played. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down at about the 35. Great job by the quarterback. He had a slant called against zone coverage and threw it at the perfect time. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. They're about four yards away here on second down. Fires out to his wideout. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 45. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And he's immediately tackled. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. He airs it out. Complete. Touchdown, OU. He hits the PAT. So that's a six play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure, try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. The Sooners with a three-touchdown advantage. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The paper, the stats, all the previews say this game should be even. It's not even at halftime. In fact, it looks as if this squad just got pushed around. They got bullied out here in the first half. Uh, one team's playing big boy football, the other team's playing peewee football. I mean, it's definitely been, it's been surprising to watch, but at some point, you just got to man up. I mean, you got to say enough's enough, and, and you got to respond because you had opportunities in the first half, and every single opportunity, big boy football kept winning. And some, you got The little guy's got to make a play. I mean, you can only get pushed around so much and, and not respond to it. And right now, it's just been disappointing to watch. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. 
want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's got the corner. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 36. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. There's a strike complete. He's down. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 45. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Gains his way to the 36 yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He gets to about the 27-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From the 27-yard line, second down. They work the right side, and there is nothing going there. Fourth and long here after the sack. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 30. The Longhorn staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. They'll bring him down at the 40. Chucks it downfield. In and out of his hands. Second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. He throws it incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signals straight. Jamison, the return man. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. 
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Slings it out and it gets tipped. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around. They'll get him for a loss. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, you're probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. From their own 44-yard line, second down. And down he goes at about the 41. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. Quick pass. Brought down around the 44-yard line. The defense was ready for that pass and catch, and they did a good job to hold them for such a short game. Brown is back deep to return. Oh, excellent punt. He takes it at the 12, and he's taken down at the 21. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. You know, you can almost see his confidence rising with every snap that he and this offense take. And, you know, the thing that's really standing out to me is the way he's putting the ball on the money. He has to have one of the more accurate arms I've seen all of this year. And you can see almost every throw he's made, he's put it right where only his guy can make the catch. And then he's getting upfield for big yards. It's extra sweet to be playing this well against a hated foe. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He's scrambling. Slides down. He has some room. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. At the 46. That makes it seven. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 48 yard line. Gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. He goes out of bounds at the 43. Makes the first down catch. He gets hit out of bounds around the 32-yard line. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. right for a nice game. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. We head to the fourth. Oklahoma's up by 18.
Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He's on the run. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. right around the two-yard line. That's good for him. That brings him up to the line. Touchdown. Touchdown, Sooners. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. He makes the PAT. Oklahoma is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle made around the 30-yard line. That brings him second and five. Ready, Now he's scrambling. Outside for a nice game. Flips it middle to the running back, and he's taken down at about the 39 yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. He scrambles, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Excellent open field tackle. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Throws it to the halfback, and he's got it again. And they hit him in the backfield. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 48-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled around the 25-yard line. Five wide. Quick throw, almost intercepted. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. Less than three minutes in the game. Setting up the play action. Lost the ball. Fumble. And he hits him hard at the 21-yard line. Yep. And this is why you need to know where the ball is at all times. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Now he 
tries to buy some time. And they got it. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Gives it to the back. Makes it to the 22-yard line. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. That makes it third and seven. It's third and seven. Ball on the 25-yard line. From their own 33-yard line, first down, Oklahoma comes to the line in complete control in this game. Hands it to the back. Stevenson picks up five with the carry. A fun week for one team, a nightmare for the other. It's final. Oklahoma, 42, Texas, 17. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.